In this video, I'm gonna talk about potassium and the huge impact it has on our thyroid health. Okay, potassium and thyroid health. Talked about that sodium potassium pump, right? Um, thyroid hormone, active thyroid hormone, so T3, is really important for helping that pump function well. But say for some reason the pump function is reduced, then we're going to have less transport of that thyroid hormone. So we need enough thyroid hormone for the pump to work well, the sodium potassium pump, and we need enough sodium and potassium to support the transport of thyroid hormone. So, and sodium is also important in general. I talked about last week, we use the sodium iodide symporter, which transports iodine, which makes thyroid hormone. So we need sodium to make thyroid hormone for sure. But as far as like transporting it around the body, we need both sodium and potassium. Um, and then again, because potassium helps shuttle things into the cells, it will also shuttle thyroid hormone. But active T3 is really important for these sodium potassium pumps. This is a big reason why people will have a hard time increasing sodium and potassium levels if they have hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is very widely associated with lack of electrolytes, like electrolyte imbalances is what they're typically calling it in the research. And it's typically because of the effect that it has on the pump. Um, so, and what that makes me ask is, how is your stress? <laughs> Are you eating enough? How's your blood sugar balance? Um, and you, I think there's so many things you can go through to optimize both, but we kind of overlook the effect that thyroid health can have on sodium potassium levels and only focus on sodium potassium and thyroid, but it is definitely a bi-directional relationship for sure. 